What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys the mission guide for Tier 1 of the White Lotus faction here in Season 2. And just like last season, we have seven total missions in this tier. Out of the first six, you'll have to complete five of them in order to unlock the final story mission. Once you complete that, you will get access to Tier 2 for White Lotus and access to Legion. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. So go ahead and throw an easy goal of 100 likes on today's video as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button along that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. First up, we have Make Contact. This one is going to be a three-parter and it's going to closely resemble one we already did in Season 1. But first part's asking you to use your tack map with whatever button it is for your input device and ping a contract phone. If you guys aren't familiar with what these are at this point, you're going to look at your map. You're going to see the green little phone icons. Each of these have a different little logo on them representing a contract. Basically, just ping it on the map and this part is complete. Part two is asking you to find the contract phone and download the intel. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one you pinged. You just want to go and find a contract you want to do. If you're looking for something extremely easy, a HVT or the one with the crosshair could be pretty easy to do just go there get that guy and this part will be complete now the final part here is just asking you to successfully complete whatever contract it is that you grab so once you actually grab that contract and finish it you will have completed the first mission next up we have hostiles located this one is pretty straightforward again three parts as well first part's asking you to ping five enemies with question mark all this is asking you to do is actually ping the enemies if you're on controller it's going to be up on the d-pad i don't know what it is on mouse and keyboard however all you're doing is pinging five enemies and this part will be complete. Part two is pretty straightforward and easy. While you're pinging those five enemies, maybe every time you ping one, you're just gonna go ahead and eliminate them because it's asking you to kill five enemies. And then third and final part for this mission is asking you to pick up one weapon in a deployment. Now I did have a little bit of issues with it counting. The first weapon I picked up, it didn't really register. Second weapon I picked up, it actually finally went through. All you have to really do is just pick up a weapon off the ground of any AI and this part will be complete. Next up, we have cashier, also going to be three parts. Part one's asking you to open a cash register. Now this one's gonna be more difficult if you're on a certain side of the map as there are just so much less cash registers available. However, you can still find these. I found it pretty easy to just wander into a gas station as those are all around the map. Some of them won't have a register or at least a couple of them don't, but most of them do. If you find yourself having a hard time finding them, you can go to Saeed City or even Al Mazra and you will have a much better success at finding the cash registers. Part two is going to go along with basically just looting. It's asking you to acquire $10,000 in cash. Basically, if you guys are looting or you complete a contract, or even if you just have other teammates with you, it should be pretty easy for you guys to acquire 10,000 and it shouldn't take you all that long. Even if you eliminate another player, it could possibly be the difference in you getting that money. And then the third and final part is to exfiltrate from a deployment. So it doesn't matter if you die on the other two parts or any other part of the runs. If you exfil at any point for any run, third part will be finished and that part will be complete. So you don't have to do them all in the same run. You just have to knock off each of these at any point. Next up, we have Information Seeker. This one is going to be a two-parter, something a little bit familiar from last season as well. That first part is asking us to ping a UAV tower. If you guys aren't familiar with what these are, they are just the little towers with like the sound signal or waves signal coming off of them. You're going to see them on the map and each of the POIs. Just basically going to look at the map and ping one of those locations and this part will be complete. Part two is going alongside this a little bit. It's asking you to activate two UAV towers. This doesn't have to be simultaneously or at the same time. It just has to be two UAV towers. Now, I will note that when I did ping a tower, I went to it and I activated it. I did wait for the cooldown period in order to hopefully activate it again and have it count, but activating the same one did not count for me, but it might count if you have other individuals with you. So I did have to go to another location to hit another UAV tower. Now, if you do it in a different match, it could probably be the one you hit in the previous match. It just can't be twice in the same match for that tower. Next up, we have Convenience. This one is a three-parter. And again, something we saw last season. Part one is asking you to ping a vehicle on the TAC map. Basically open the map, look anywhere on it for any vehicle. Just ping that guy with up on your D-pad and part one will be complete. Part two is asking you to fully refuel and repair a vehicle at a gas station. Basically, once you jump into a vehicle, just drive to your nearest gas station and in the time frame in which you get there, you will have lost some gas or possibly even taken damage. So you'll just basically go there, make sure you let it get repaired all the way or refuel all the way, and second part will be complete. The third part is asking you to find and then use a gas can from your backpack while in a vehicle to refuel it. Even solo, all I did was go to the gas station, which I was already at for part two, grab the gas can. Once I left that gas station and drove a little ways, 
and I had taken some gas out, basically just opened my backpack while I was driving, hit the refuel button on the gas can, and this mission was finished. Next up, we have Committed Shopper. This one's gonna be a two-parter. Part one is asking you to sell a valuable item at a buy station. Now, I did not choose to sell a very valuable item. I think it was only around $500. It was like a cheap wine bottle, and it did still count. I was under the impression it might've had to be a gold or yellow one in order for it to be considered valuable. But I think anything that holds any value should count for part one. Once you go to the buy station and sell it, this part is complete. The second part kind of goes along with part one. If you're selling an item or valuable there, you're gonna have some extra money to deal with and you'll be able to buy an item at the buy station. Once you've completed both of these, this mission is completed. Next up, we have our last and final mission for White Lotus tier one. It's gonna be known as Stronghold Reacquisition. This is going to be a three-parter and it is very similar to what we had last season for our final mission in tier one legion first part's asking us to acquire a stronghold key card there's multiple ways to go about this if you just go around the map eliminating enemies or even go near stronghold sometimes and eliminate enough enemies reality is rng based but they will drop a stronghold key card at some point during your match or at some point in general so you don't necessarily have to go too far out of the way to find one of these i typically find quite a few of them throughout each and every run you can also choose to take them out with you and save them if you want to have some stronghold key cards in your key stash. Part two is asking you to clear stronghold of enemy combatants who will want to go to a stronghold that hasn't been opened. Unlock the door. You have to eliminate every single one of the enemies inside it. And in order to know you've gotten this progress, it'll basically just check off once all those enemies are eliminated. Sometimes you do have to check the roof or any other possible locked doors that could be attached to that same building. The last and final part to this mission asks you to extract the Elysian deal intel found on Stronghold Guards. Now, while you're eliminating those guards or enemy combatants at the Stronghold to clear it for part two, one of them is bound to drop the Elysian intel, very similar to White Lotus intel last season. You'll just want to pick that intel up and exfil with it successfully. Now, I do want to keep this as a note. At the current time that I did complete this, in the run that I grabbed it the first time, when I actually went to exfil, I ran into a bunch of other teams managed to get eliminated and it actually still checked this off and counted as completed. So it doesn't look like you actually have to extract with it at all. Just seems like once I picked it up, died or exfilled, didn't really matter. This was completed and this entire mission was done. Now, once you obviously complete all of these, you will unlock tier two for White Lotus. They're a little bit out of a different order this time around, but this is it for the mission guide for tier one of White Lotus. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.